Those that are tasked with helping people make productive changes to their life, dealing with the pain and the stress and the hurt of dysfunctional life, have various approaches to one, identifying problems and two, finding a solution to those problems. One of the ways to both identify and help solve problems is the psychoanalytic approach. The psychoanalytic approach is also called the psychodynamic intervention approach and it basically follows the following tenets. Key, um, just briefly, I want to just talk about the few feeder views that feed into this view so that you have maybe a broader idea of where it comes from. So the psychoanalytic or psychodynamic intervention approach draws upon psychoanalytic theory, ego psychology theory, psychosocial theory, and object relations theory. So all of those things are drawn together and coalesce in this psychoanalytic approach. The key tenets that we want to talk about is number one, the social environment in which the person exists is considered the primary external influence. Nothing is greater as an influence externally to the person than their social environment. So you must know the environment in which they're in and get all the information you can there to realize what external factors are feeding into the equation and causing the dysfunction and the problems. Second, behavior, how people act, flows from the unconscious mind and unconscious drive. So in many ways they don't know why they're doing what they're doing. It's flowing out of the unconscious mind, drives, motives, and those sorts of things. But their behavior flows out of that. So you've got the external factors of the social environment and then internally these unknown motives and drives from the unconscious mind. Next, dysfunction comes about by the stress produced through um, conflicts in the unconscious mind. So stress producing experience and conflicts in the unconscious mind express themselves in dysfunctional behavior. So you've got the external influences of the social environment, you've got motives and drives coming from the unconscious mind producing behavior. Dysfunctional behavior shows that there is stressful conditions, that there is um, conflict causing experiences in the unconscious mind then being acted out in dysfunctional behavior. Finally, if you're going to get resolution to this, what you have to do is draw out the unconscious mind into the conscious mind. What's going on with them in places they don't know subconsciously, drawing that out into the open into the conscious mind, by doing that you actually produce stress. The reason it's in the unconscious mind it's because they don't want to deal with it and in some ways the stress and the conflict has pushed it there. You draw it out and you use the energy created from the stress and the conflict as it comes into the conscious mind to help produce changes. So you would talk them through it and say, look, I know this is painful, I know this is hard, let's do something about it. Let's actually use that energy productively to bring about a good change in your behavior, uh, changes in your thoughts, changes in your behavior, changes in your environment so that things start moving in a good direction. So the key factors to remember here again in the psychoanalytic approach is that the primary external influence is always the social environment. All of our behavior flows from motives and drives found in our unconscious mind. Dysfunctional behavior is produced by stress producing experiences and conflict in the unconscious mind and the way to help uh, alleviate that or change that or bring about good is to take the things that are in the unconscious mind, bring them forth into the conscious mind. It's stress producing to do that, but then you help them use that energy from that stress to redirect them and promote positive changes in their life and their behavior. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can click on the link underneath this video. That link will take you to a website with that information, and also on that website, you'll find there a link to an ebook that's ready for immediate download.